Hiya folks again, just in testing. Um, what I wanted to do is uh, just make sure that uh, we have the circuit mock up right for the PAs. So you'll notice it's turned upside down, and that's to prove to you that uh, there's no tube in there, there's no high tension connected. You can see, it's, I can assure you, he's completely off. Right, I'm just using the ground connections, that's all, because it's convenient, but uh, anyway, I've, uh, oh, where's my left hand side gone? My left hand side's here, dead, in bits, it's all in bits, folks, it's dead, it's dead, until I decide to put it back together again. Anyway, there's me, uh, George's EWC83, so no preamp, uh, just a slave. Just one slave, and um, you can clearly see that's on me yellows. That's me to chain. Just continued in. Oh, rest exactly the same, you know. But I just want to make sure that we've got the DC switch on correct. Now, uh, an EL84 should idle at about 35 milliamp, right, in the switch on state. So as I walk it up, uh, I put some titty in on purpose. Got it up there, you know. So I got uh, 240 on table there. I can put more on, but uh, like I say, that's what it'll be running in circuit anyway, about that, less than that. And there's my 35, and it come up lovely and happy. And I uh, can't show you a diagram now, but uh, I'll show you that it wants capacitively coupling. Right at that end. can show you a diagram, it wouldn't be right not to at this point. Just let me move stuff out of where. Ah, excuse me, sorry about this. Right, so uh, at that end, I'm, I'm actually now touching that there, right? But before it goes there, it wants a capacitor to an RCA, you know. So if you can just see from the circuit from there on in, it's just like that, except a capacitor, 200 nanofarad or something, directly to the centre of the RCA, and then other connection to deck, and uh, we'll have a PA. Working the tree on full load, you know. You know, another thing and all I'd like to say, you know, uh, that that allows, for anyone that doesn't know, but basically that allows me to run that EL84. I, I, could, I could now, no problem, make a power supply, get two EL84s, connect them all like so, and uh, I could uh, connect them to my computer. And I'd, I'd have valve audio on my computer, but it wouldn't be the same as everything being analogue, of course. You know, uh, but... Uh, so if I were to give uh, controlled audio, when I say controlled, like my MIDI disc, for example, as an output control or a CD player, anything, tape deck, if it's got an output control on it to turn it up and down on output, you can connect it straight to that. And you'll have a, a mono little lamp, or make seven of them, and you'll have a seven head, seven headical. It's a new, new word, never been invented before. Catch you in a bit, folks. Perhaps you might have learned some of there today. How to make a small slave. A small slave. That's its proper terminology. I might do the same thing with uh, some of the... Uh, I've got some valves downstairs that I only have the one. But yet I'd like to hear them. Some of them are really early, you know. And I know pin connections of them, but... I'd like to, I'd to, I'd to see if I can wake them up and hear them. <laughs> well, under a condition like that, you can. You can, as long as you get, obviously our grid and everything will be different, uh, sorry regarding feedback and how it's connected in transformer and all, but the basic understanding I've, uh, I've learned some of it in this last hour. I'll catch you in a bit folks, I'll have to go because I'm in pain, my back's going, bam, my stomach's hurting and I don't want to tell you at rest.